Welcome back, guys. Today, we're going to be doing the workout on the screen. We've got ourselves a 10-minute time cap of 30 power snatches at 75 pounds, super light, 20 calorie ski, 10 rope climbs at 15 feet, and then back through with the 20 calorie ski and 30 snatches at 75 pounds with a 10-minute time cap. Um, looking at this workout, when, the, when I first actually saw it, I decided that I, I'd like to go close to six. And so if you look at this workout, I thought to myself, okay, I'm probably going to need about two seconds per rep for the power snatches. Therefore, I should be able to get done with 30 in one minute. 20 calories ski is one minute. And then I timed out a couple of rope climbs and thought, okay, aggressive pace would be able to do five every minute for rope climbs. Therefore, I need two minutes to do 10 rope climbs. And then back through with a one-minute ski and a one-minute uh, power snatch. So I figured, okay, if I'm close to six, it's a pretty solid time. What I didn't factor in was my 30 snatches at 75 pounds it took me over a minute. Um, and then coming back and trying to hit those 30 power snatches after all that grip already was pretty difficult. And what I didn't factor in was the fact that, you know, a factor in fact, fact, I use that word twice. What I didn't factor in was a fact that, uh, 30 power set at 75 pounds is pretty much almost half of Randy. Randy's difficult to do unbroken, so this was already going to be difficult. So if you can already see there, I'm already at a 110, so at that point I knew, okay, I'm already behind pace. So now if I keep the remainder of my pace, right, from here on out, and also assuming I still get a 110 on the backside for snatches, I'm, I'm looking at a, six, a 620, um, which probably isn't going to happen. Now, if you did notice, I did jump. Uh, jump the screen on the ski. I didn't figure you want to watch me ski for 20 calories. So the ski took me like, I fact, I figured like a minute, but then, you know, it takes me about 10 seconds. That's 14 seconds to get on the rope, um, which is some pretty slow transition time, but I'm going to try and keep the ropes pretty steady and consistent. Um, I think I get five or so, um, and I decided chalk because, I mean, to be honest, like chalk on a rope does really help. It, it is pretty beneficial, but you have to be careful and not take so many chalk breaks that, you know, you waste a bunch of time. Now, looking at these rope climbs right here, what are some things I can fix by looking at it? First off the bat is the fact that my first pull, if you notice, is pretty muted hips. Like I'm not really ra raising my legs as much. Um, you got a couple different options here, right? So what I'm really doing is I'm going to 15 feet and I'm doing three mediocre poles at most and so that's one option your better option would be to do two really long poles but then you have to ask yourself what I probably thought about before this was the fact that if you do two really big poles it's the better thing to do but at the same time you might be wasting a little bit of your hip energy or energy you've used already and so if you do three little short ugly poles it might be a little bit better um, kind of depends on who you are. I know my hips were already a little bit eh from all the 30 power snatches before it. And so, you know, me doing two long poles was pretty difficult. So I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna do three little short poles and tie my shoes. Um, so for those of you who might try this workout, what are some ways to do this workout or scale this workout? First of all, um, power snatches, 30 power snatches should be doable. I mean, 75 pounds for males, 55 pounds for females is, is pretty easy to do, I think. And so you should be able to knock that out. Um, the 20 calorie ski shouldn't be a big deal. The 10 rope climbs might be where it starts to be rough. And you can tell it's it's getting rough for me right now. Like it's starting to set in pretty quickly here. Um, I think I have one more. Um, so if you just learn rope climbs, obviously you're not going to do 10. It's just not going to be conceivable, durable. So maybe drop it down to like six. Like it should be your rope climbs should, let's see, I think that took me about two minutes. I, I, was, I was pretty on point with the two minutes concept, or maybe a little over two minutes, like 210. Um, so uh, now I'm going to skip ahead. Um, so you have to ask yourself, okay, if you just learn rope climbs, I wouldn't do 10. Uh, it should be something you can probably get done in three to four minutes, no more than four minutes. I mean, if you're close to four minutes, then you need to drop the rep scheme quite a bit. So I would recommend probably just kind of time a few. I mean, can you do a couple in a row and then take a rest? I mean, if you can do three every minute, you pretty much do it in three minutes. That's a pretty solid time. So if you need to scale it, I'd say go from drop down by evens is what I usually say. So 10, 8, 6, 4. Um, and if you 
can't do rope climbs. And then rope poles are completely fine. So you lay on the floor, pull yourself off the floor, lower yourself down. Um, those are still some great skills to learn. So we're going to last set up for 30 power snatch here. Um, the goal, what like I mentioned, was to go close to six. That's obviously not going to happen. So now I think by the time I was already in the middle of my rope climbs or in the middle of my ski when I was thinking, I realized, okay, well, I'm not going to close the six. It's just not going to, it's not feasible right now. So the goal at this point is just, okay, can I go sub seven? Um, so, I mean, setting goals is important for these workouts, but you also need to realize that sometimes when you set goals, when I set goals, I set goals that are sometimes a bit too aggressive. And so you really need to sometimes realize that you set aggressive goals and then just tailor them back in a workout. And that's fine. Like it doesn't, I'm not going to let it affect me and think, okay, well, I didn't meet my goal. I suck. Like I should go back and do it again and, and try to get closer to six. Sometimes I set aggressive goals and it doesn't happen. And that's okay with me because I know these goals are a little bit, sometimes a little bit overreaching. So, um, all right. So finished up here, 655 or 654, still a solid time. So yeah. That burned the arms. That burned the arms bad. <laughs>